guys, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have another new and interesting things for you. Some of this stuff, in fact, I think most of it was sent to me. So if I have any sort of discount codes or referral links, I will leave all of that information in the description box. Okay, so first thing that I have here, this is from Mix Easy and I actually reviewed their shampoo and conditioner and I think it was like a face lotion or something a while ago and those were really cool because you could pick and choose what you wanted in your products based on your specific needs, which I thought was really awesome. So this is the Mix Easy Spin Care System, and this is, you know, a cleansing brush. So here's the actual brush, and it comes with different heads. So the one that I have on here right now is a pumice stone. I like to keep them in this <laughs> little thing from the body shop just because, you know, I don't know, I like containers. You have two little face brushes, and one of them is a little firmer than the other one, so one is supposed to be more of a gentle, sensitive skin, the other one more of a deeper, exfoliating type of a cleanse. And then this one, which is um, supposed to be for like, filing your nails? I don't know, I, I was a little nervous to use this when I haven't used it yet because it just seemed really harsh. It's quite soft, like it's not super gritty or anything. Here, let's try it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this for you guys. The heads just pop off and on. And then you have a power button and it does have two different settings. So slower setting, faster setting. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a slow setting. Oh, actually that's not bad. Huh, okay. All right, that's not bad, actually. I kinda like that. And then a larger body brush. So this one you can use all over your body and it is much larger. Too big for your face, really. And this is actually still really soft. And then the bottom just pops open. I haven't found a better way to do this. <laughs> and uh, that's where the batteries go. So it is battery operated. You don't have to like plug it in and charge it. I'm gonna go find my batteries, hang on. My major issue with this is that it does only spin in one direction. Like I have a Clarisonic that kind of wiggles back and forth. This one, because it's in one direction, you do kind of slide one way or the other. If you're using it on your face, it will tangle up your hair if you get too close to your hairline. Um, I was using the pumice stone on my feet. It like does this a lot because of the spinning. So that is my major issue with it, but I do like the, the different attachments and I like that it has different speeds. Oh, and it has a little, a little base that you can stand it up in. Okay, then I have some products from a company called Gin Amber Beauty, and I have a derma roller, some vitamin C, and a face mask. And this roller is different from most derma rollers because these are individual needles instead of a disc, which makes them, I guess, you know, better for penetration because they're, instead of being, you know, pointed like this, it's like an actual, needle and it's like medical grade steel and all of that good stuff. She has several videos which I will link for you talking about how to use derma rollers, the best sizes to use for different things, what not to do, all of that stuff. So I watched a ton of her videos. I'm not sure if I watched all of them because she has a lot about how to do this. Now I do have sensitive skin but I also have a lot of hyperpigmentation and stuff like that. I'm battling wrinkles here. So I was really excited to use this, a little nervous, but excited. And she also sent me this vitamin C booster and this size needle is supposed to be more geared toward serum penetration. You know, and she'll say in her videos, like, you know, use whatever products you want, but she came out with this one because it is vitamin C that doesn't have any acid in it, which will burn your skin. It just has the vitamin C to help, you know, the good parts. So anyway, um, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now. This size she recommends to use every other day and I've been doing less than that, probably every three, maybe even four days in between, just because like I said, sensitive skin. I actually really like this. I had tried a derma roller a while ago and I wasn't so sure about it, but this one, I don't know, I've just had a better experience with it. Maybe it's those individual needles. I don't know, but anyway, we'll see. I'm hoping that this will give me super amazing, beautiful skin. And I do like the vitamin C that she has. It's very watery, so it doesn't feel oily on your face and it doesn't have whatever acid I guess a lot of companies use and she definitely says to use more natural products, things like that. The mask that she has, I really, really like. This is moisturizing coffee. 
and it's, you know, just like a clay mask kind of a thing. It does have coffee in it, so it's a little bit of a scrub on your face, but it's also very moisturizing, and I just really liked the way that it felt on my skin. It doesn't have a strong coffee scent. I don't know what it smells like, but it has a nice texture to it. I really, I really liked using this mask. So I've been happy with all of those products. Yay. Okay, I have a set of makeup brushes. These are from EIG Show, and it comes in this great little box. I'm a big fan of cute boxes. And then they give you this bag, which is an awesome bag. I'm gonna use this, like, even if I don't use these brushes, I think that this is, this is going to be my new travel bag. So it's a nice length for brushes. And then inside it has some pockets, which is great. You have a zipper pocket and then just a little snap pocket right here. So I don't know, I love this bag. Okay, so the actual brushes, this particular set, it also has a little silky bag. This particular particular set has all of these white handles and then some of the brushes uh, they all they have like different colored bristles so these ones have like the black bristles you've got some white ones and then some brown like duo color ones I used these and I haven't washed them so they're a little bit dirty but let's just go through them okay so we have the foundation brush which is an angled kabuki style this is a bit small for me I mean you know I have kind of a big face but it's it's a little bit smaller than what I generally like to use, but I did use it and it did a fairly good job. I just feel like with this small of a brush, it would be better used for, you know, maybe like a cream contour or, you know, smaller areas. I've used it for, what do you call this stuff? Concealer under my eyes and it works great for that. And then another couple of big face brushes. This one is for blush and it's kind of flat and a little bit pointed, so it's more for like this kind of a blush, which isn't generally how I put on my blush, but I used it, it worked, it was great. If you like this sort of an application, it is very soft. I like the shape of it and everything. It's, you know, you could use this for contour as well, or who knows, whatever, <laughs> whatever you feel like using it for. This one is a large powder brush, and the shape of this one, I feel like, because of that taper, you know, you could use it for multiple things. Um, it's a little bit dense, I feel, for a powder brush, unless you're like packing it on, you know, that kind of a thing, I think it would work well. Like if you're like pushing it in, or maybe, you know, I, like I, I keep going back to contour, but you really could, or even use it for blush. It's kind of big for blush, but you know, kind of an interesting shape. This one is an angled contour. Yay, an actual contour brush, <laughs> which which does work great and is a is a nice size. And then we have some eye brushes, a large crease and it's round. It doesn't pinch at the ferrule and it's fairly dense. So this is another one that would be good multi-use for cream products or whatever. I did use it in my crease and I liked the way that it you know, that it applied. And it, it's, all of these brushes are very soft, which is nice. The only one that I thought was less soft was this one, the angled contour with just the white bristles. I don't know, for some reason this one was a little pokier when I was using it. I mean, it's, it feels soft right here, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky. Anyway, um, let's see, we have an eyeshadow, which is like a flat, wide brush, great for packing on color. This one is a blending brush, which is pinched at the ferrule, but it's a little bit fluffy. And this one I liked for doing like an outer V in the crease kind of a thing. Um, but you know, it's fluffy enough that you could blend with it. There are two small smudge brushes and they're shaped different. So the E832 and the E834, this is the 32 and this is the 34. And you can see one of them is like flat and wide, whereas the other one is round and tapered. This smudgy brush I like for under my eyes, this smudgy brush I like for top lid, you know, however you wanna use them. And then there was actually two lip brushes in here and they're the same, so I don't know if that was a mistake steak or what but you know nice lip brush just sort of your basic lip brush it does have quite a fine tip on it like the point of that you know it's great for getting details and like you know around your cute cupid's bow especially i really like that and then this is just your typical liner brush and then this angled brush which you could use in your brows or as liner they call it an eyebrow brush 
um, I think it would work well for either. So it's a nice set with a ton of different brushes. Some of them are not my personal preference for the size and shape for what they're supposed to be used for, but they're all really nice, well-made brushes. I have some more skincare. These are all from Derma E. I've talked about Derma E a lot, and I am on their PR list, but I also buy their products. These are some things that were sent to me. Uh, these are the Blue Light Shield Spray with Blue Green Algae, and then this one is the Blue Light Shield Concentrated Serum with Blue Green Algae Lutein Activated Charcoal Ginseng, ginseng Root Extract. Will help defend against environmental aggressors while neutralizing the look of photo aging, reviving skin's appearance. So I've been using this one a lot during the day, and then this one I use at night. This one is the Advanced Peptides and Collagen Serum. So I mix this with an oil, I've actually been using a Derma E oil, and just, you know, smear that all over my face, and I really like this. And then I really like this spray. Um, it says that you can use it like over makeup or in the middle of the day or whatever, and I find that it is definitely hydrating, but I wouldn't put it over my makeup. <laughs> Maybe midday if I wasn't wearing makeup. Generally speaking, when I use it is like in the morning, but it feels very moisturizing. So I like I like all of these products. I love Derma E. Okay, I have some CBD drops. These are from a company called Sweet Drop. They sent me this one, and this is the original flavor. I expected it to be sweet. It's not sweet at all. It doesn't really taste like anything. These are sublingual drops, so you drop a dropper full under your tongue and the CBD is supposed to help with all sorts of things. Let's see, what does it say? Relieve anxiety, joint relief, st reduces stress, and enhances mood. I have been using these for several weeks now and I don't know that I really notice a difference. Like, you know, it's not one of those things that you use and you're like, oh, I feel better, that's great. <laughs> At least not for me, that has not been my experience. But I do think that they might help a little bit. Like, I, my knees have not been hurting lately, which has been great. Um, you know, if I ever do feel super stressed or anything, like around the holidays, it was nice to have these. I was taking them pretty much every day and and you know, who knows, maybe maybe they did help and it was awesome. If you use any sort of discount code or if anything is on sale, like right now I just checked and their entire site is 40% off, but if you buy anything on sale, they won't give you a refund, which I think is kind of a jerk move. <laughs> I don't know, like, you know, just give me the sale price refund. So anyway, I'm not so sure how I feel about this company. The actual drops don't really taste like much, and I do hope that they're helping, but I can't say that I have felt any drastic change using them. Um, they do have a couple different flavors. I have the blood orange ones and the original. The original are very plain. The blood orange, here, let me take some right now. Yeah, it doesn't taste like anything, and it's certainly not sweet, and it almost has like an oily sort of a texture to it, um, like it coats your mouth, and it's like the essence of orange, but it doesn't taste like anything. It's just like, like your mouth now smells like orange. It's kind of weird. Anyway, they're made in the USA, THC-free, you know, they're supposed to be really high quality ingredients and all of that stuff. Um, like I said, I'll link it in the description box. I think I even have a discount code. I wonder if my discount code works on top of their current sale. That would be nice. Anyway, I'll leave all that info in the description box. Okay, I have more drops. These ones are from a company called Dow Drops, and these ones are, they have a bunch of different ones. I have Focus and Energy, and you put some drops in whatever beverage you want, water or whatever. Um, they don't necessarily change the taste strongly, at least I didn't think so, but you do, they do have a little bit of flavor to them. Um, and they're, they're just, you know, herbal tinctures. So like the focus one says fights fatigue, focus enhancer, stress reducer, anti-inflammatory. And then the energy one says fights fatigue, boosts immune system, boosts metabolism, and apt aptogenic, why can't I say that word? Adaptogenic. 
adaptogenic. So anyway, I thought that these were really cool and I like these sort of tinctures. Again, I, I'm bad about noticing like a distinct difference when I take something. I'm like, oh yeah, I totally have more energy. I don't even get that from like coffee. So <laughs> I may be a bad judge for this sort of thing, but I like the idea of them. And I like to think that they're helping me to focus and have more energy and have, you know, anti-inflammatory properties and yet more drops. So these ones I actually bought uh, my mom suggested that I get myself some vitamin D drops, which are also supposed to help with <laughs> all of these things. If you are vitamin D deficient, um, you know, it can be bad. And since a lot of vitamin D comes from fortified things like milk, which I don't drink, or from the sun, which I try to avoid, uh, I thought that, yeah, it probably would be a good idea for me to get some vitamin D. So these ones, I mean, it's like supposed to be, I don't know, 900 servings or something. You just put one tiny drop under your tongue, again, with the sublingual, and you know, supposed to help. And I actually really like these and I don't know why my mom suggested that I get the sublingual ones. Maybe they're just supposed to be more effective or more, who knows? Anyway, um, I've been taking these and I like them and I think that it has been helping with just general like mood and energy and well-being. <laughs> Okay, I also have some sheets. I have a pretty box, because I love boxes. Uh, the sheets are actually on my bed right now, so let's go inside and we'll talk about them over there. Okay, welcome to my bedroom, and uh, Marcello here is just gonna have to move. I'm sorry, buddy, I know, I know, it's so comfy. Okay, so these are my sheets. They're kind of an off-white, creamy color. I love them. They're very soft, wonderful sheets. One of my favorite things about the pillowcases is that it has this little tuck-in lip thing here. I really love that. So that your pillow doesn't like slide out of the edge. Um, you know, you can see that they're, they're cotton, so they wrinkle, but I really, really like these sheets. I think they're awesome. Okay, can you see the detail in the pattern here? It's just a really nice, lovely touch. The, act, the bottom sheet is pretty big, actually. Like, I mean, you can see it's kind of fluffing off because it has extra room, which would be great if you had a really tall mattress that needed deep pockets. As you can tell, these sheets are on my bed. We've been sleeping on them for several weeks now. They're really nice. I've washed them several times. They just get softer with each wash. They are genuine Egyptian cotton. They're money, they're $150, but nice sheets are always expensive, and these are very nice. You can feel the difference. I ended up finally just throwing away all of my janky, cheap sheets that I got from like Target or whatever, because after sleeping on sheets like this, you really do feel the difference. And these are so nice. Okay, and then the last thing that I have are these bracelets. These are Tashi bracelets from a company called Tashi Handicraft. They're just these little bracelets and they're very plain on the outside and they have little arrows on the edges and you know, they're the cuff style. Shiny things are always hard to show. Can you see the arrows? on these and then on the inside they say things this one says screw it let's be whiny moms i have a little rainbow one which i thought was super cute and on the inside it says love is love this one says stay classy sassy and a bit badassy this one says not today bitches and then i have one more that says believe in you like i do but i'm actually going to save this one um, as a gift so, and they come in these cute little pouches, which I think is great. These are great little gift ideas. And you know, you can just wear them all together if you wanted or one at a time. I kind of love that they're very plain on the outside. Cause at first I was like, I don't know if I want to wear a bracelet that says not today, bitches. Like that just, <laughs> maybe sends the wrong vibe to my kids kind of a thing. But because you can't see that while you're actually wearing the bracelet, it's like this secret message to yourself. Like, you know, just one of those little reminders or little things that you're like, you know what? It just looks like a cute little bracelet. But on the inside, it says, love is love. Like, you know, that's my little secret message to myself, which I think makes these very cool rather than having it displayed on the outside. On the outside, it's very just, you know, plain and simple and cute. 
but doesn't have your secret message displayed to the world. So I don't know, I, I thought that was an interesting idea. Oh, and then I have this, you guys, I haven't actually used this yet because I keep forgetting. These are hangover pills. You're supposed to take four of them before, like 45 minutes before you start drinking. So I never remember to actually take them. Uh, I haven't even opened this yet. Let's look at them. I'm just gonna like have to get drunk this weekend and see if they actually work. <laughs> Okay, oh, these are like horse pills. Look at these ginormo things. They're basically just vitamins that are supposed to, you know, help keep you from getting hungover. Yeah, take four capsules with food and water 45 minutes before you drink. So anyway, I am going to try these out. I just have to remember to take them before I go drink. So anyway, I'm gonna have to give these a try and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> keep an eye out for that. Oh, and let's talk about what books I've been reading. I think I've told you guys before that I listen to, book, to audio books, like while I'm doing the dishes or folding laundry laundry or cleaning the house, whatever. And I've just been absolutely loving them. So I've been going through books like crazy. So I'm gonna open up um, my Libby app. I mostly just get them from the library because they're free, but I do also have an Audible account for those books that I can't get off of Libby. Like I said, I read a lot of books. Okay, so I just, I've just finished Court of Thorns and Roses and I have the second book in my queue. And then those books were written by Sarah J. Mass. So I found her other books which I had to get from Audible, and I am most of the way through Throne of Glass, but I love books that are part of, a, what do you call that? Not a trilogy, or but you know, but, but, you know a series, geez my words. Um, I love books that are part of a series because then you can take those characters, you know, from book to book, especially because I go through books so quickly. It's hard to move from one world to the next. It, it can be kind of jarring sometimes. So um, this is technically the same world as Court of Thorn and Roses, but it's like prequels or something, or I don't know. Anyway, I read Philip Reeve, Infernal Devices. Mortal Engines was the first one. So that was three books. I think it was Mortal Engines. And Colin was telling me that I think they made like a TV show or a movie out of it or something. Cause I was talking about a scene or like something that I was referencing and he was like, wait a minute, are you reading Mortal Engines? <laughs> It's like, yes, you know it. So anyway, uh, that was really good. Oh, and then Marissa Meyer had Renegades. What was the second book called? I don't remember. And then the third one that I just finished was Supernova. I really enjoyed those. It's from the point of view of a villain. I don't want to tell you too much. Anyway, uh, I really enjoyed those books. Can you tell that my genre is like YA fantasy? That's totally my jam right there. <laughs> but I also will read other things. In fact, what it Less, Less was a really cute, super sweet novel. Quick read, I loved it. That was really good. It's about a guy named Arthur Less. It was just really cute. And then, okay, remember back in December, I talked about Nancy Drew. I had started playing a Nancy Drew game on the PC. Well, I've been totally obsessed with these Nancy Drew games. So I have my own Steam account now. Colin fixed my laptop because I have a Mac. So he fixed it so that I can, I can boot it into PC mode. You can also buy the games from her interactive so that you can play them on a Mac. But because I'm going through Steam, I need a PC. So anyway, I've been playing a ton of those. Unfortunately, a lot of the older ones are too old to actually play on my computer, which kind of sucks. Anyway, totally obsessed with the Nancy Drew games. They're so much fun. Some of them are too scary for my kids, but a lot of them aren't that scary. And Jensen especially has been helping me out and he likes to help me solve the puzzles and go around and talk to people. And it's really fun to be able to do that with him. So I have had to limit myself to weekends only though, because I get so obsessed that that's like, like all that I want to do and I don't do anything else. I don't feed my children or bathe or anything. I'm just like, now I totally understand, you know, gamers and uh, how they neglect their lives because they're too busy playing a video game. In fact, Jensen said to me, I was in the middle of playing and we had to go to soccer practice and I was like, no, I don't want to go. I want to play my game. And he's like, mom, it's just a video game. And I'm like, really coming from you kid. Anyway, 
Totally love Nancy Drew games. I love my audiobooks. I will list everything in the description box. All right, so like I said, all of the information will be in the description box. Links, discount codes, anything like that will all be there. So make sure you check that out if you are interested in anything I shared with you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.